In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful freeform scramble. The center of this scramble is a crochet button. You can see how to make this button in playlist Crochet Elements and Projects Tutorial 7. Here on the last round of my crochet button, I have 19 stitches. That is just for you to have the idea on what foundation I'm going to continue my work. If you have more or less stitches on your last round, so then your scramble won't be the exact same one. Let's continue together. Chain 4 for the first chain space, skip 2 stitches on previous round, single crochet through the third stitch. Again chain 3 for the second chain space and single crochet through the third stitch. Working in this technique, I'm not following a pattern, i just creating something new with every new stitch. Let's make two more chain spaces of three, chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet through the next stitch, and again chain three and single crochet through the third stitch. Now let's continue with popcorn stitches. So, chain 3 to raise the yarn. 1, 2, 3. Then double crochet 5 through the next stitch. One, two, three. Four, and the last double through the same stitch 5. Now turn the work to the back and work a slip stitch through the first double. First 5 double crochet popcorn is ready. Continue chain 1 and work a 5 double crochet popcorn through the next stitch. Double crochet 5 times through the next stitch. 3 4 and 5. Now turn the work to the back and work a slip through the first double. Again chain 1 and make the same popcorn through the next stitch. I'm going to make a 5 double crochet popcorn stitch through an each stitch and previous round until I reach the first chain space. Between each popcorn make one chain stitch. Here's the last double through the same stitch, turn the work to the back, make a slip through the first double and the third popcorn is ready. Continue chain 1 and work the same popcorn through the next stitch. In freeform crochet there are no rules and exact pattern to follow. You can work any stitch you want, change the yarn any time and as many times as you think needed. There are no rules of working in rounds or in rows. You can turn your work any time and crochet going back through stitches you've just created. This technique is some kind of improvisation. Chain 1 and work the next popcorn through the next stitch. Double crochet 5 through the same stitch. 3, 4 and the last double 5. Now turn to the back and slip stitch through the first double. Chain 1 and here you can see we've almost reached the first chain space. Let's make one more popcorn stitch. Double crochet five times through the next stitch. Three, four and five. Turn to the back and work a slip through the first double. Now I'm going to continue and work into the first chain space of three. I have in mind to make a ruffle, so chain 1, double crochet into the chain space, then chain 1 and double crochet into the same chain space, chain 1 and 
work a double into the same chain space. Let's make 8 double crochet stitches into the first chain space and in between the doubles make 1 chain stitch. Here I made 3, chain 1, double crochet 4, chain 1, double crochet 5, chain 1, 6, chain 1, 7, chain 1, and the last double, 8. Here you can see we've started our ruffle. Let's continue and work the same through in each of next three chain spaces. Double crochet through the next chain space, chain one, double crochet two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one. Now you can clearly see the ruffle. So continue and work the same into the next chain space. Double crochet, one, chain one, two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, Five, chain one. I'm working pretty fast for those who wants to see and learn some stitches and techniques that I'm using right now please check out our crochet tutorials for beginners. Let's continue. Chain one and the last double through the same chain space. Now chain one and continue, work the same into the last chain space of three, two, chain one, double crochet three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, and the last double eight. Here we have the center for our future scramble. It is a crochet button. On one side I have made six five double crochet popcorns and on the other side a rouge. At this point I would like to complete the round by making a slip stitch around my chain stitches. These are three chain stitches that I made before the first popcorn. Slip stitch is made. Now, above the popcorns, I'm going to make chain spaces of three. So then I can create something on top of them. To begin, chain one to raise the yarn and then chain three for the chain space. One and one, two, three. Single crochet under the chain stitch that is in between the first and the second popcorn. Again, chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet under the chain stitch between the second and the third popcorn. Continue, chain three, and a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. And the last time, chain three and a single crochet in between the popcorns. Here I have reached the rouge. What I'm going to do is to make some chain spaces or arches behind the rouge. So then on top of them I can create something more. Let's make another chain space of three, chain three, and single crochet into the chain space between the last popcorn and rouge. Now continue, chain four, one, two, three, four, and double crochet into the first chain space of three on round before the previous one. For this, insert the hook from the back to the front between the middle posts of the double crochet stitches made into the first chain space and then into the chain space and double crochet through. I don't count the stitches made into the first chain space to find the middle. 
I just insert the hook between the doubles that are seems to be in the middle. Working in this way, I mean into the chain spaces and lower round, you can see that our rouge is getting up and the stitches or chain spaces that I'm making are behind the rouge. So we are kind of creating a lower layer of stitches. Let's continue. Chain 4, I made 4 chain stitches. Now double crochet through the single crochet stitch that is in between the first and the second chain space of 3. I am working through stitches on round before the previous one. You can try any other techniques while making your scrumbles. The only thing that you need to control is the final look of your work after you make some stitches. The piece that you're working on should not be twisted, wrinkled or tightened with stitches. It should lie perfectly straight and look good. Continue chain 4 for the next chain space and double crochet into the next chain space of 3 and round before the previous one. Insert the hook from the back to the front between the doubles and double crochet into the chain space. Again chain 4 and double crochet through the single crochet that is in between the next two chain spaces of 3. I remind you that I am working through stitches on round before the previous one. Our chain spaces should be behind the rouge. Now let's chain 3 this time, 4 seems to be too many. And double crochet into the chain space of 3 and round before the previous one. Again chain 3 and double crochet through the single crochet between the chain spaces. Here is the single crochet stitch. Insert the hook and work a double crochet through. Now you can see that 3 stitches is better than 4. Again chain 3 and double crochet into the chain space that our double stitches are made into. Again chain 3. Uh, let's do 4 chain stitches this time. And let's make a single crochet into this space that is right after my rouge. Now let's check does everything look good and the way how we want it. I like everything at this point. Now let's continue. Here above the popcorns we have a line of little chain spaces. I'm going to make a boolean block into each of following chain space. To begin single crochet 2 into the first chain space 1 and 2. Then chain 3 to raise the yarn and treble crochet into the same chain space yarn over the hook two times for a treble. And work the boolean block around this treble. Repeat yarn over and pull up a loop from around the post six or seven times. Let's do seven. I made one, continue two, three, four, five, six, and the last time seven. Now insert the hook into the same chain space, pull up a loop through and yarn over and pull through all loops that are on the hook. And chain 1 to complete the boolean block. Our first boolean block is ready. Now let's continue. Make 2 chain stitches. Now let's do 3 chain stitches. And work the same boolean block into the next chain space. Treble crochet through the next chain space. Then yarn over, pull up a loop from around the post seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Insert the hook into the same chain space and pull up a loop through, then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. 
chain one to complete the boolean block. Here we have two boolean blocks. Again, chain three and work the same stitch into the next chain space of three. Treble crochet and continue. I would like to say here that there are some different ways to work the boolean block stitch. All possible ways you can see in our series of crochet tutorials for beginners. And if you still have hard time making this stitch, please practice with our crochet basics tutorials and then go back to work on your project. Here I will continue and work boolean block stitches all the way till this last little chain space and my block stitches will be above the popcorns. Here I did six boolean blocks, each stitch made into the chain space of three and worked around the post of the treble. Now I will continue and work into the chain spaces that are behind my rouge. Here they are. You can see them from the back. Here I have the first chain space of four. Let's treble crochet four times into this chain space. Yarn over the hook two times for a treble. One, two, three, and the last treble, four. Then treble crochet through the next stitch. And again treble crochet four times into the next chain space. Two, three, and four. And treble crochet through the next stitch. Now let's see. I will continue in this way. So let's do treble crochet four into the next chain space of four. One, two, three, and four. Then treble crochet through the next stitch. Here into each chain space you can make more or less stitches. It depends on the way how you crochet loose or tight. So here please feel free to add some stitches if you think needed. I will continue here I have the next chain space, treble crochet four into this next chain space. One, two, three, and the last treble, four. Then treble crochet through the double crochet stitch. The next chain spaces are smaller. They are chain spaces of three. But anyway, I will do four treble stitches into the chain space. So let's continue treble crochet four into the next chain space of three. One, two, three, and four and treble crochet through the stitch. Looks good to me. Here what we have now. I would like to complete this round by bringing it all the way to this first boolean block stitch. 
So let's continue working to the following chain spaces. I'm going to work double crochet stitches. So double crochet four into the next chain space. One, two, three, and four. Then double crochet through the next stitch. Continue double crochet through the next chain space. One, two, and three. I will do three here. Now double crochet through the stitch. And here I have my last chain space. What I want to do is to pull this row of boolean block stitches a little. For this I will do only two double crochet stitches into the last chain space, two, and work a slip through the fourth chain stitch, top chain stitch here. Here is our scramble, which is not ready yet. In part two, free form crochet tutorial two, I will continue and complete this scramble. Thank you so much for watching.